Hey, what's up, everybody? So, uh, today we're going to talk about Rupal, or as he's known now, Angus Ravenwood. <laughs> Such a stupid name. But, uh, there isn't that much footage of him. There's the, uh, famous Marty interview. But there's a couple other things that I found that we can look at. Look at these uh, pictures that uh, Glory Hole has gotten. Look at him. <laughs> his little necklace. Oh man, his bandana. He thinks he's cool too. He wears little necklaces and doodads just like Cyrax, thinking, thinking that he's cool. What's up, Chodes? What's up, Blood Nug? <laughs> there he's got his hat. He's got his little necklace, his choker, his choker. It's a choker, just like, just like how Cyrex wears that little choker. Oh man, I, I didn't even realize that until right now. Oh, okay, so that's all the pictures of him in this one, I think. What's up, Queen Wizard? All right, so here we have this. This is crazy because his case actually, like, <laughs> went somewhere or it has, like, ramifications because of the time that they read the Miranda rights. Yeah, it's his slave collar, Malicious. What's up, Thomas? <laughs> What's up, Bong, man? State versus Smith, 2002, Supreme Court of Alaska. State of Alaska petitioner versus Rupal Mark Smith responded. Decided January 11th, 2002. What's up, boo, that guy you don't know? What? Oh, I, I hope they have a cookout, Thomas. They need to, like, have a barbecue, smoke some dope, chill out, listen to some old, uh, 50 cent. What's up, Roddy? Let's see. Before... Fabe, Chief Justice Matthews, Easter, and Carpenty, Justices Eric A. Johnson, Assistant Attorney General Anchorage, and Bruce M. Bothell, Attorney General Wani for Petitioner. I don't need to read these people's names. <laughs> That's too much. Introduction. All right, here you go. Introduction. During the investigation of a forcible assault, the police published an artist sketch of the suspect. Rupal Mark Smith called the police, gave his name, and said he looked like the police sketch of the suspect, but was innocent. <laughs> I can't get over that. <laughs> he called up the cops like, hey, I know that you know that person that you're looking for? <laughs> Hell yeah, Roddy. I mean, that's what we're trying to prove here, though. Let's see if it'll, like, pop up, hopefully. But sometimes if it's this... These ones, they don't pop up for some reason. Oh, well, it says, Lauren is Rex's real father, refused to believe Rupal. I mean, it would make sense, Lauren, being his uh, dad, because they have the same kind of, like, mentality. But watching this and just trying to, like, analyze Rupal, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that uh, he's got the same kind of blood that Rex does. <laughs> Christian Lockley subscribed for more madness, alien. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. What's up, Mr. Sacco? Jello Putin? Corey? Lewis? What's up, everybody? Oh, hell yeah, Mr. Sacco. Congratulations, that's what's up. But yeah, some of the, uh, the taste, the really bad taste... Definitely transferred through Rupal's DNA <laughs> into Chance. <laughs> like, tried to be cool, wear the chokers. It's it's all there. Alright. So, he calls the police. Say that the police sketch looks like him, but isn't him. And then afterwards, an officer visited Smith the next day. And during the course of the interview, Smith confessed... Contending that the interrogation was custodial, Smith moved to suppress his confession because the police failed to inform him of his Miranda rights. Okay, just like Rax tried to get out on a technicality, he's like, yeah, well, you told me I wasn't going to be arrested. 
You didn't read me my Miranda rights, so I confessed everything to you right here in the open. I didn't think that you were actually going to use this against me and arrest me. So, that's like, I guess, the only reason why we have any of this information saved and, like, archived and categorized is because he tried to get out of it. And so this case, like, had to prove that, yeah, it, it's still, he still, you know, has his Miranda rights and all that shit. He still get arrested, even though it was just like a, a friendly visit that the cop did and he wasn't straight up, like, there to arrest him. What's up, Orca? Yeah, he confessed. <laughs> What's up, Skilled? The trial... Okay, where is it at? The trial court denied his motion, and the jury convicted him. Yeah, of course, because he did it. <laughs> the court of appeals reversed, concluding that Smith was in custody. Our independent review of the record leads us to conclude that a reasonable person in Smith's position, a reasonable person in Smith's position would have felt free to break off the interview and leave. <laughs> oh, a reasonable person, but he's not reasonable. He's just like confessing to it. Oh my God. Accordingly, we reversed the decision of the court of appeals and reinstated Smith's conviction. Okay, so when the cop came to his house to ask about, like, the tire treads, I think they talk about the tire treads here next, he confessed, but because he wasn't in custody or something, they weren't, like, detaining him and questioning him, he tried to use that as, like, a way to weasel out of it, like, oh, you didn't say the magic words, you didn't say the magic words just the right way, so that means I'm innocent and I get to go free. What a fucking asshole. What's up, IDK? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I said 69 IQ speaking. <laughs> yeah, Chun Truck, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I, Lewis, I think maybe because they think they can get away with stuff there. It's like wide open, still kind of like the frontier. Facts and proceedings. On July 26, 1994, K.S. was assaulted by an unknown man. At the crime scene, the police found shoe prints and bicycle tire tracks near the spot K.S. had been attacked. The police determined that the bicycle had different tires on the front and rear, both being very distinctive. Both were narrow street tires, but the tread on the front tire was wider and deeper than the rear tire. KS was giving a detailed oh KS was able to give a detailed description of her attacker and the police artist prepared a composite sketch. KS also noted that the man had been riding a blue 10-speed bike. KS ultimately picked Rupal Mark Smith out of the two six photo lineups. Oh my god. He was like, I don't know, he was in his 20s when this happened and he was like riding a bicycle probably because he couldn't drive because he's Cyrax. He's just a different Cyrax, an older Cyrax. Oh, geez, Chrisilla, I hope not. <laughs> but, you know, that's your grandpa, and <laughs> not, not like someone who's 30. On July 28th, the police published the composite sketch in a local newspaper. Around mid-morning, Smith called the police. He identified himself, indicated that two friends had told him that the sketch of the paper looked like him, and asked for a description of the suspect. Smith denied responsibility for the crime and claimed to have an alibi. The police officer taking the call thought it was suspicious and reported it to his supervisor. He's trying to get, kind of like, gleam what kind of information that they had. Hey, I know it looks just like me, but I promise you it's not me. Also, could you tell me any other information that you might have regarding this suspect so I can try to change my bike tires? That's all it was. God. The next day, postal carrier Mike Wells told 
trooper Robert Clark that he thought a person resembling the sketch lived at the home of Larry and Margaret Dean. Trooper Clark visited the Dean residence and met Smith. Who is this Larry and Margaret Dean and why was he staying with them? Who is Larry and Margaret Dean and why was Rupal staying at their house? Oh, man, I would love to see a police sketch of Rax 2, Dennis. I also would like to see this original police sketch of Rupal. I searched so much trying to find old Alaska newspapers around this date when it said it was published, but I could never find anything. What's up, Tactical Cope? What's up, Elmer Chud? Yes, Lavatar, this is the bike path incident. But yeah, why was he living there at these other people's house? Trooper Clark visited Dean, the Dean residence and met Smith, who Clark thought looked like the sketch. Smith asked Clark if Clark thought that he looked like the sketch. Hey, do you think you look like this guy, Rupal? Do you think you look like this? He looks just like him. It's like an exact photocopy of him. Trooper Clark was also suspicious about Smith's over-friendly manner. <laughs> Over friendly manner. It's just like when Cyrex talks to the cops, trying to be like, hey, uh huh, blah, 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 let me tell you all the stuff I did. It's the same exact mentality. He called the cops and told on himself, just like how Cyrax called the cops and told on himself about texting an underage girl. Wow. Jeez. Absolutely, Dennis. They would. What's up, Tulsa? What's up, Green-Eyed Bandit? What's up, Doc Holiday? Smith owned a blue 10-speed bicycle. Trooper Clark examined the tires and noticed the front and back tire treads differed from each other. Trooper Clark reported his findings to Sergeant Robert Burns. Later that same day, Sergeant Burns and Trooper Clark went back to the Smith residence in separate patrol cars. Both were in uniform and armed. Barnes asked to speak to Smith about the incidents of July 26. Smith was friendly and, as found out by the trial court, more than willing to talk to Barnes. <laughs> yeah, I was bullied into doing it. Music Biz Marty made me, trolled me into attacking a girl on the bike path. That's essential. That's all I'm hearing in my brain is him like trying to blame somebody else for it. Oh my god, more than willing to talk to Barnes. Barnes told Smith it was easier to talk in his patrol car, and Smith agreed. The day was rather hot, and the air conditioning in Barnes' patrol car was on. Smith entered the front passenger side of the patrol car. It's always hot in Alaska, ain't it? It's always so hot in Alaska, you gotta turn on your air conditioner. I mean, it is July, so I'm assuming it would be. It's just like constant day there, isn't it? Smith entered the front passenger side of the patrol car. Barnes sat next to him on the driver's side. The doors were not locked. Oh, I wish we could find that too. Barnes' tape recording of the interview began at 1.49 p.m. Shit. If someone could get that recorded interview of Rupal confessing to this shit, that would be legendary. Oh my god. What's up, Caustic? Absolutely, Pill. <laughs> Absolutely. He looks just like one of the, like, T-Cap. I mean, he, he pretty much is. He pretty much is. Except he actually, like, did something vile and went through it. But if he wasn't in jail, and he, he could have got T-Capped real easy. Barnes' tape recording of the interview began at 1.49 p.m. Barnes first told Smith that he was not under arrest and was free to leave. Smith indicated that he understood well that's when you say whenever the cops are talking to you that's when you say you gotta like want to get a lawyer like no matter what it is i'm not like saying like he should have done it because you know he's a dumbass and i'm glad that he got arrested i'm just saying like anybody with any kind of sense knows like yeah, that's when you like get a lawyer and you don't talk to the cops about anything it's always july in alaska oh my god What's up, peepsies? I'll see you, loser. Thanks for, like, hanging out. 
Barnes began to questioning uh, by asking why Smith had called the police the day before. Smith initially claimed that he was with friends the morning of KS's attack. Barnes' questioning became more accusatory. When Barnes first confronted Smith with the evidence that the bicycle tire tracks at the crime scene matched his bicycle tires and that the victim identified him from a photo lineup, Smith denied any connection. After Smith denied Barnes' accusation a second time, Smith's friend Dave walked up outside the car and Smith called loudly to greet him, Hey Dave! Please come over here and save me from this police interrogation because I obviously did it. Hey Dave, please lie and say I was with you and not doing terrible stuff on a bike path. It's essentially what it is. Where is it at? Barnes mentioned the evidence against Smith a third time, adding comments like, Tell me the truth, and I'm not going to arrest you, and it's kind of obvious that you were involved. Smith became less responsive. After Barnes repeated the allegations a fourth time, Smith made incriminating responses. Shit. He became unresponsive, less responsive. Just like when you call it out Cyrax, and you're like, hey, aren't you uh, gay? You did it with Blind Billy. And then he's just like, Ugh. and like stops talking. <laughs> that happened recently, I think, with like Marty and him. This was, it doesn't matter. Whatever. That's it, coincidence. It's a coincidence that the buyer tire tracks were different. Jesus Christ. Hell yeah, DK. That's what's up. All right, where is it at? Smith made incriminating responses. After this point of the interview, Smith apparently asked for an attorney. <laughs> oh, after he confessed. Afterwards, he's like, oh shit, uh-oh, can I get my attorney now? <laughs> Bard said that he would not arrest Smith. Smith left the patrol car and talked to his friends, Larry Dean and Dave Smith. Who is this Dave Smith? What? Is that his husband? What would it, his last name Smith and this other guy's name Dave Smith? Who's that? Is that Rupal's secret husband? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so he talked to them who were standing in the nearby driveway. The entire interview in the police car lasted 30 minutes. Absolutely. It's so classic Rax behavior. What's up, AI? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Chung Truck. Hell yeah, Bo. Thanks for, like, hanging out and watching this. Alright, where's it at? Barnes stayed on the scene until around 3 o'clock p.m. He taped an additional short exchange between himself and Smith in which Smith offered to get the clothes that he had worn the day of the crime. Smith indicated that he was very tired and wanted to go back to bed as soon as he could. Oh my god. I'm, I'm getting tired now. I need to go back to sleep, guys. <laughs> I'm tired. I, I gotta go back to sleep. I can't, I can't be interviewed right now. Trooper Clark remained on the premise with Smith. He did not restrain or control Smith. Smith went into both his apartment and the Dean's house. Barnes returned less than two hours later and arrested Smith. Alright. So they let him go inside and he probably like got rid of a bunch of evidence or shit. He went both into his apartments and into Dean's house. So, yeah. He obviously had some shit in there he was trying to like get rid of, hide. He probably had some drugs that he was trying to like flush down the toilet too. I mean, he's 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 a scumbag. I mean, what else, you know? He tried. He probably like burnt his the like clothes he was wearing or some shit. What's up, my noodle wet? What's up, Vape Tobin? Smith filed filed a motion to suppress his statements made in the interview. 
alleging that his Fifth Amendment rights were violated by Barnes's failure to give him m- m- Miranda warnings before his custodial interrogation. Superior Court Judge Charles K. Cranston denied Smith's motion and ensured findings of fact to support his rulings. At trial, a jury convicted Smith of kidnapping, S.A., and S.A. of a minor. Damn. Kidnapping. Because he, like, pulled her off the, the like, back path and, like, put, like, a shirt over her head or something. What's up, Super Serial? What's up, Brother JP? What's up, Undendum? <laughs> I mean, it's Rex's dad. Do you, do you think he's really going to be that smart? Smith appealed. A divided court of appeals found that Smith had been in Miranda custody from the time that Sergeant Barnes told Smith, and what I need you to do is have you tell me the truth, and I'm not going to arrest you. The court of appeals remained for the trial of court to determine whether the introduction of Smith's confession was harmless error. On remand, the trial court found the new, that the error was not harmless. Accordingly, the Court of Appeals reversed Smith's convictions. The state appeals on the sole issue whether Smith was in Miranda custody during his questioning in Sergeant Barnes' patrol card. Okay, so that's mostly it. But it's crazy. It goes all into this, like, the Court of Appeals and whether he was in under the Miranda rights warning whenever he was confessing. The circumstances of the interrogation, including when and where it occurred, how long it lasted, how many police were present, what the officers and the defendant said and did. So yeah, post interrogation events. This is crazy that this like set a precedent of if you confess in like a casual place, I guess in Alaska at least, if you confess in like a casual setting to a cop, it still counts and you're still under your Miranda rights. That's crazy though. <laughs> That's crazy that like his case became something. I'm sure that like they would refer to this in court if someone else had like a similar situation go down. <laughs> yeah, Doc Holiday. Oh my god. What's up, Grubby? I'm sure he would. If he had the ability to, I'm sure he would. What's up, Rob Hill? Alright, so. Let's look at this. I found his YouTube channel. He's only got two subscribers and I'm one of them. (laughs) He doesn't have any content on it. Except playlists that he's created. We go to the About. Joined February 11th, 2017 channels does it feature any channels playlist here are the playlist uh jane espen enya braveheart celtic knots knots arcana omnia country hobo jim my son chance Oh, yeah, of course. Exactly, Green. Yeah, Thomas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Caustic, somehow. Let's look at this playlist right here that says, My Son Chance. Hello, everyone. It's from the Shadow Blade channel, and it's just two videos that are the exact same video that he saved twice. My life as a special needs music artist. Why? Oh, that's the only thing that he saved. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. My name is Chance, or more musically known as Shadow Boy. What's up, Tactical and Coat? I today to What's up, please notice me? What's up, Dennis? You know, why I'm not signed. Oh man. A record label Oingo, Oingo Boingo. Boingo. I don't, I think that might be on his, like, secret other playlist, probably. You know, making it within the music industry. What's up, Lavish? As well as how I came to be 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? I wonder how many are deleted. What's up, Alexis? Oh, let me start off by telling you a little bit about myself so you guys have a better understanding. Does it sense? Music manager. So, like, you know, ours there. I'm surprised that the Shadow Blade channel... Let me go to here real quick. I'm surprised that this only has 91 subscribers. This is like one of the really old Cyrax channels right here. He hasn't posted on this in like five years. Five years ago. Five years ago. Five years ago. Five years ago. Special needs awareness freestyle rap. Five years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Wait, what is this? And hey, what up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Also, my Shadow Blade. You guys are probably wondering why I got a mic in my hand. That's because today I'm actually doing a freestyle rap. For special needs kids around the world to raise awareness because <laughs> just like his dad doing that trans youth bullshit w raise awareness oh my god hell yeah broadside <laughs> shitty blade pretty much yeah this is back when he had a real life my ultimate goal for this video is to not only spread awareness about it, but to ultimately try to start up a record label for special needs kids like myself. <laughs> like myself! He's not a fucking kid. He's not a child. Why does he say, like myself? Who are interested in doing music and who take it seriously. And to also call out record labels who bash on special needs people like myself. Who are real good at what they do. I have no clue, Doc Holiday. <laughs> I have no clue why he stopped. He and For a while, he was like, I'm special needs. But then he was like, no, I'm a genius. Marty, it's Marty. Marty's the catalyst. So without further ado, <clears throat> pardon me. Without further ado, <laughs> let's get this popping. Oh my God. I forgot about that. <laughs> and if you haven't done so yet, Hit that subscribe button down below at the end of this if you like this. I don't know if I've seen this. That's why I'm like so like intrigued by this particular special needs freestyle rap. <laughs> oh god, he's just gonna steal a beat. Yeah. Let me see if it ha if it. Okay, maybe it maybe it's not like called in the algorithm. Yeah. Do you know what it's like to be the little kid sitting in the back of the motherfucking class while everybody sits and stares at last? Do you know what it's like to be the motherfucking kid that constantly gets picked on every month? Do you know what it's like to be the motherfucking kid that gets picked on sitting in the back of the motherfucking classroom? God damn. <laughs> Oh my god. Of course, it's Cyrex. What else did we expect? Him just saying motherfucker a bunch. <laughs> what else would it be? Motherfucking thing just dropped. How motherfucker looks, yeah. Really isn't fair, yeah. That kid is me. I'm that kid that grew up with. Motherfucking nothing, yeah. Yeah, y'all thinking. Hell yeah, Basicho. That's real funny. That's hey, he's not even trying to ride broadside. Motherfucking stop me, yeah. Here I am rocking this motherfucking shit till I'm dead in the ground and never when I fall in, never when I motherfucking back down. I'm gonna keep on going now. I do this for the kids that have nothing. I do this for the people like me. I do this shit for the kids with motherfucking special needs who got nothing. I do special this for the people like me who motherfucking need the help of who go through motherfucking suicide every single day and night, wondering why. Look at this. Five years ago, Shadow Blade still talking about sewer slide. Still, he's got a sewer slide fixation. All right, let's go back. I just, I just hadn't seen that, so I like really wanted to see what that shit was. Hello, everyone. All right, back to Anus Ravenwood's YouTube channel. So yeah, um. 
All right, I'm going to play like a tiny bit of this, and if you're watching this stream after it's live, I might have to mute this part because it is going to be some copyrighted music. We're just going to make fun of the music that uh, <laughs> Rupal's listening to. <laughs> Look at this. Celtic Knots. <laughs> just frolicking around listening to this shit. <laughs> That's like what half of this shit is. That's like what most all of this is. Oh my god. Here's a Another one. Oh, uh, here, here's some more shit like that. The really, really, really cringy neo-pagan shit. Like, it's just as bad as, like, church people at that point, where you're just really cringy. Why else is one of his fab band is Suicide Silence? <laughs> right? Thank you, Caustic. I appreciate it. But yeah. That's why he loves it. He loves anything that has like sewer slimes in it. That's that's just his favorite shit. Yeah, it's the Viking blood, Ike. <laughs> yeah, he's skipping through the woods behind the bike path, playing playing the little flute. I'm big on you. I'm a warrior. Oh my god! <laughs> Let me just mute this so we can just kind of like click through it and look at these fuckers. <laughs> that's why that's why Cyrex says he's a Viking. Cause his dad watches this bullshit. Oh, broadside. This is about <laughs> This is all about all that we have and we can find on Rupal. We're going to watch the interview that he, Marty did with him after we like keep making fun of the shit that he watches. <laughs> look, look at him. <laughs> They're the worst. They're the worst. Oh my god. <laughs> they just look like a bunch of dirty ass Wookiees. That's all they look like. Oh my, what, what the fuck? Oh man! Oh, oh! What the hell? <laughs> I I have had to deal with a lot of people like this in my time, like selling stuff at Renaissance fairs and shit. And they they're all just the same. They're all just real cringy. Whenever you get way into something, you start dressing like this. And you, like, spend way too much time being, like, anything, anything at all. You could be, like, these hippie neo-pagan Wookiees, or a Juggalo, or, like, a sports fanatic. Whenever you become obsessed with shit and start t dressing crazy, you've gone too far. Oh, they are so greasy, Green. They are very, very greasy. Oh, there's a mad hatter motherfucker over here or something. I'm warrior, earth warrior. Oh my god. Pagan folklore. What it is, is he went to jail and he got hooked up with like those crazy Aryan brotherhoods that are way into like Nordic shit. It's what happened to him. He talks about his tattoos that he got in jail, and one of them's a Celtic knot and all that. That's super, like, Aryan Brotherhood, neo-pagan bullshit right there. <laughs> Pretty much Dr. Strangelove. Oh my god. Alright, let's go back and look at some of the other ones. Oh, look at him playing a concert. Oh, is it playing a flute? 
That motherfucker's playing a fucking little flute. <laughs> okay, what's it sound like? Whack for the day, God damn it. Oh. Braveheart. Country. Hobo Jim. Okay, what's Hobo Jim? This doesn't seem like cringy neo pagan shit. What is this? Alaska's Hobo Jim. Oh, it's Alaska's Hobo Jim. Shit. Alaska's Hobo Jim. Some cool artist, I guess. Yeah, it's just a it's just a bunch of stuff from this guy. Little 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 little. <laughs> yeah, pretty much Orca. What's up, Bambi? What's up, Dylan? I know, right? Like, no, I know plenty of pagan people. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I've sold, I used to sell oddities and bullshit, so I've been to a lot of, like, renaissance fairs and, like, you know, whatever, neo-pagan festival gatherings, and they're... There's some okay people. You know, if you're just a regular person just, like, liking your shit, that's all right. But once you start being crazy and dressing like that, it's too much. All right, so here we go. And this is why Cyrex says that he was he's country. He's a country boy at shit. I clicked on the wrong one. This is why he says he's a country boy at heart is because his dad's got a country playlist. Alabama, roll on 18 wheeler. Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Marty Robbins. El Paso, Dwight Yoakum and Buck Owens. Alabama, mountain music with uh, two big old Confederate flags as the logo. <laughs> Glenn Campbell and Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash. Merle, you do some of the best country music impressions I ever heard. That's it. This is this is why Cyrex says he's like a country boy. It's because of this one playlist that his dad made. Yes, Broadside. Is this the guy who had the pedo Pinterest? It is. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. But yes, Broadside, it is. And that's what we're about to get into. That's like all he's got on his channel. I wish we could see who he subscribed to. That would that would really like let us know some shit. <laughs> yeah, Thomas, absolutely. Travis Tritt. Uh, uh shit uh I forget what it is. Shit kicking trooper trooper. <laughs> yeah, Adam. <laughs> What's up, Obadiah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Obadiah. Conway Twitty. <laughs> What's up, Piggy? Okay, so here we go. Here is the, uh, the interview. It almost happened two years ago now. March 23rd. Angus. Yeah, about time you answered on this thing. You weren't backstage here. About time you answered, Marty. Here. Uh, I would not pass up an opportunity to speak with you. I've been on here. I've, I've tried uh, saying something to you three different times, and nothing came through. <laughs> uh, well, I can't explain that. What's up, girls, then? Um, yeah, so I guess, like, my first question is, because I, I looked at your Pinterest. Yeah, essentially, um, Corey... He said he can't remember the uh, password, so he has to leave it up. Uh, and I was kind of horrified at some of the pictures in the comments. Those comments were not. Those comments were not made by me, Marty. Those comments were on the Pinterest uh, pictures when I, yeah, when I uploaded them. 
Okay, what was like your campaign for raising trans youth awareness? Green, that would be hilarious. I mean, he's the only person who could be able to do it. <laughs> Marty can like wind those Wilkins up so well. And I know his name isn't Wilkins or whatever, it's Ravenwood, but still, he's a fucking Wilkins. You, um, what was your campaign for trans youth awareness? <laughs> because one of my co-workers, Austin, who is a trans male, was getting harassed at work and he wanted to help doing uh, transgender awareness. Okay. Um okay, so he's going to use this whole, like, trans youth shit as, like, a cover to cover his, like, creepiness. But, you know, it's weird that uh, diddlers are the ones who are so trying to use that shit as a cover story. I mean... Um, it just seems, like, odd, because it was strictly pictures of... Yeah, it's a stupid-ass name, Ryan. It's a stupid-ass name is what it is. Kids, like, boys in dresses and saying uh, that they're easy as, to use. Like, as, my ex, as my ex-wife Scarlett <laughs> was telling you... Yes. As my ex-wife was telling you before, those weren't the only images we used. Those were just some of the best pictures for what we were doing. Some of the best pictures? Okay, I'm going to look back at some of these pictures here. Um, yeah, after... One moment here. like some of them Yeah, Russell, this is Rax's dad. And this is, like Orca said, after he was in prison. Some are they're very scantily clad. Um, the one that really strikes me is that young feminized soccer boys are easy to convince. But what are they easy to convince? Just like, I just want to analyze the way that he responds and talks to Marty and how similar it is to Rax's. The way he wants to like, well, actually it's this. No, you don't understand, Marty. You don't understand. It's... There's a lot of mannerisms that are very similar. Considering how obsessed Strax is with Sewer Slide, I'm shocked he doesn't love Radiohead. Then again, he only likes bad music. That is true, Bill. I mean, yeah, he only likes bad music and, like, crappy, like, screaming stuff. Radiohead's cool, though. I like, a uh, OK Computer and... What was it? Kid A? What's the one that like came out way later where they had like Ice Age coming? I like I like that album too. I don't understand that fully. Hell yeah, Satan. Those comments were part of the picture. I do when, when we copied the pictures, we didn't use the comments that were on though. Those comments were already on the pictures. Oh, it's all deflection. On Pinterest. Those comments were already on it, Marty. Yeah, and Marty. Those comments were already on it. <laughs> so your argument is invalid. Okay, and I see, like, what a wonderful dress for a cute boy, and there's, like, a ten-year-old boy's, like, head Absolutely, Dr. Dr. Strange love. an adult woman's body. Was it Kid A? Hell yeah, Pill. That, uh, to, to me, like, it seems like sexualizing children. I understand. I understand about the comments, and I understand your concern on that. But that was not what we were going for. We were just using the pictures, not the comments. Hell yeah, Dylan. What's up, Jolly Mercenary? Okay, like I'm gonna show one of these here, and I don't know if this is uh, this is gonna get my stream taken down very well. Yeah, Corey. Exactly. The she's 18 defense. Oh my god. Right, but um, oh shit, here uh, wrong. Okay, feminized soccer boys. Right, it's it's funny. He could have went a little harder, but I think he was trying to like keep him around and not let him like get mad and go off as quickly as he could have been. Schmeggle Cat goes hard on him though. Are, are easy to convince. Like, what drew you to this picture? What was like the goal? The reason, the reason we the reason we selected those pictures is because the the high price. Yeah, that's exactly it. Lewis. You you've hit the nail on the head. Here's the thing, Marty. You know what, what's funny? Trust me when I say, yeah, it's it's shit like that. Prominence of transgender youth nowadays. Sure. Um, 
This is the man who you said you were going to rape his uh, mother and sister. And I understand you're probably, but I'm sorry. Good evening, gentlemen. Hello, Mr. Snuffle. Um, I couldn't pass the opportunity to uh, come up and uh, talk to... But yeah, okay, they're talking, but look at that picture. It's weird. It's weird. It's a weird-ass thing for him to be doing. He can, like, try to lie about saying it was for some sort of, like, trans youth shit. It's still weird that he was doing that. Even if it was for some bullshit thing. It was probably for his other diddler pal. His diddler pal was like, yeah, man, you want to, like, trade pictures of little soccer boys and dresses back and forth with each other? That's more likely what it was. To the man, the myth himself. Hey, Schmeckle Cat. Hey, mm. Schmeckle Cat. Mm. Hey, Schmeckle Cat. Hey, Schmeckle Cat. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Schmeckle Cat. Hey, Schmeckle Cat. Hey, Tyler. <laughs> Hey, Schmelko Cat. Hey, mm. Schmelko Cat. <laughs> hey, Marty. Hey, Marty. Hey, Schmelko Cat. Same shit. Same fucking shit. Mm. I'm here. That was just my that, that was just my way of getting your guys' attention to let you know I was listening to what you guys were saying. Yeah, Thomas is exactly no, what you watching. The, you were watching the stream. I guess, I guess so. Um, uh, that's all right. I didn't take any offense to it. It's quite all right. Yes, I was watching the live stream last night and the night before. Awesome. Does this look at all inappropriate to you? Uh, <laughs> it's kind of weird. It, like, it, you know, it honestly made me feel like sick to my stomach. Maybe I'm getting the wrong idea. For a moment, he had like anime glasses when they all like reflect. And when they reflect in their solid white for like a second, he had anime glasses. Exactly, under Beethoven. The under the circumstances of the way you guys are putting it out there, yeah, it would be inappropriate. But okay. you're you're misusing the what the purpose of what those pictures were used for. Yeah, it costs okay, it. It's gross. What are soccer boys easily convinced of, or convinced to? What are they easily convinced of, or to? Yeah. I have no idea what those comments on there are referring to, because those were on the pictures when we saw Also, let's just take a moment to realize that he thought it'd be a great idea to defend himself from being a creep and pedo and pervert by showing up shirtless. He might be naked. He's probably fucking naked. We don't know. He doesn't have a shirt on. Selected the pictures themselves. Hmm. Okay. If you go on, if it must have stood out to you, like, to say that and use it. Tell you, Lavish. Um, if you go on to Pinterest and you type in transgender youth and they look at images, those comments... That's gross. Why are you doing that? Why are you going on to Pinterest and type again that shit? You know? Comments are on there. <coughs> hmm. Right on. I, I can't say that's something I, I've done yet. Um, I know, right, Doctor Strange? Love. He's not even wearing a shirt. He could be fully naked. I I'm going to assume that he is because he's a pervert. <laughs> he's he's primed and he's touching himself, <laughs> just like Rax. Rax takes his pants off to stream. Angus takes his shirt off to stream. You said this was for transgender awareness? Are you transgender youth transgender youth awareness? <sighs> he has some he has some shoulders, I feel like. Green. Um yeah, I'm just a little always uh, assume the worst. Shock here. Um Hell yeah, Frostbeth. What did these pictures have? Yeah, I know, Penelope. That's what it's 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 weird. It's grooming. <laughs> He's doing groomy shit. Have to do with promoting Austin's plight. Like, what does that end up? Developing? Austin. Austin asked me to help him to put together a transgender youth awareness thing for Alaska, because Alaska has some of the strictest laws for transgenders. Hmm. <clears throat> um, I I've been asked this. It's probably because he went to jail, Vape Toven. If he hadn't went to jail, he probably would be, like, more 
scrawny and stuff. But he spent a lot of time in jail, like eating that jail food and like probably like working out or something. A million times, uh, and I don't know if this is off base or appropriate to ask, but uh, can I ask what happened with Connie? Connie died in a house fire when 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 uh... Connie died in a house fire. Well, I know, Mr. Sacco. That's what I'm saying. It's really gross. What's up, Cool Taste Redo? Thanks for like hanging out with us, the true king of Casper. While I was in prison. Fair enough. Um, can I ask, like, how? What... Exactly right, Caustic, because it's sexual. That's all it is. It's some sort of like overt sexual, like undertones to everything that he's doing. What your relationships like with Chance? Like, does he know? what you've done or um, like the details of it because I've heard him refer to you as his brother before. <laughs> God, he's a baked potato. Chance, no, chance no Baked Alaskan. Isn't that some shit? Baked Alaskan? It's all about my past. <laughs> okay. Can I ask why you're... The reason, the reason he refers to me as my as his brother is because my mother adopted him when he was in the hospital as a baby. Or because he actually fathered him with his mother. That's what I want to say. I mean, obviously he's a pervert. Why wouldn't he, like, you know, assaulted Sally? I mean, wouldn't he call you his father, though? Hell yeah, cool taste. I saw some of that. I saw some of those cool, like, memes you were making, calling him out. <laughs> Cobra's scared. He's scared of you, man. Stepping over a line. Exactly, Penelope. Yeah, I don't know. Nope. Exactly. Sally raised him and cultivated him, and now she's doing the same thing with Rax. Someone who thinks that they can assault somebody on a bike path and lie their way out of it. And then try to, like, manipulate the court system by saying, oh, you didn't say the magic word, that means I'm not arrested. No, he does He does not call me dad at all. He only calls me as his brother. He calls me Mark. That's it. Oh, sorry. Or uh, gotcha. I mean, What's up, I guess, Mew Mew? Like, the Pinterest story is somewhat plausible. Um, like after and I'm, I'm, really ups I'm really upset that you guys... Hey, um, Marty, listen sure. for a second, please. Sure. Marty, listen for a second, please. Okay. Please oh, leave gross. Aaron Morris out of this. My, he's already fired me over this because it's bad for his business. Even though I've had no issues in two years that I've worked for him, but it's now harder and hurting his business. What was his? Uh, what was his uh, reasons of uh, letting you go? Because of this, the uh, the comments you guys are, uh, plus the emails you sent and the Pinterest and everything else. <laughs> it was, but, yeah, because he's a he's a diddler. The whole combined thing it does look pretty sinister, right? How many names does he have? Rupal, Mark, Smith, Angus, Ravenwood, six. I don't know. See, I don't know if it's supposed to be Ravenwood. Or Ravenwood. Uh, with those comments on there. I mean, it's up forever, Toenail. Well. Wow. <laughs> All up to my past. This, this kid, he just doesn't seem to really learn things. Uh, he, no chance. Ch Let me say something, Marty. And it's not, this is not in defense of my son. <laughs> My son has no no understanding of how to stop when he's told to stop. Yeah, and Adam. I it's almost like no he's trying to hide. He doesn't listen to me at all. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I'm. I, I can't What's really follow the, there. The I mean, I to too much of, of anyone. Um, I understand the issues you guys have with chance over the blind billy thing but I <laughs> the blind billy thing it's funny that, that like rupal just was like straight up like yeah the blind billy thing what the fuck do you guys have with chance over the blind billy thing 
Mm. But I, but I don't have any control over what he's what he has. I have no knowledge of what he has or hasn't done. I just know what my mother's told me in the last three days. Could sure, you give, absolutely. I mean, could you give us? Could you give us your take on it, if you wouldn't mind? I have. Not, His jaw looks crazy. His jaw at the back looks crazy. Like maybe he's got one of those big old goiters like his brother had that's going to like bust out with a bunch of infection. That's what it looks like. I have no take on that because I have no, Hell yeah, cool I have taste. no knowledge. I'll totally like watch that. Of what happened or allegedly happened or anything else. All my mother has told me is that you guys were harassing him about this issue. And then, and then now you guys were harassing me, jumping on me. Fair enough. When I have not had... I feel like it is Dr. Strangelove. I feel like it is. He was in jail. He talks here a little bit about his tattoos getting them done in jail. So I feel I like it's something like that. I had any problems since I've gotten off of parole or any of the, anything What's that, Davey Rochester? Did this campaign go anywhere? Like, is there any evidence of it existing? Okay, I can't... I can't hear half of what you guys are saying. <laughs> Hell yeah, because, uh, truck. The video is playing in the background. The so mumps. Absolutely. Is there? He's got the mumps. I forgot about the fucking mumps. You like tie a rag around your head whenever you get it, like in a cartoon. Is there any evidence of this campaign for Austin existing? Uh, not anymore. It's been it's been two years almost since it happened. But so I... uh, it's been that long ago, and I have no. I I've deleted all the stuff. The only reason that Pinterest page wasn't deleted like you guys have said, is because I don't have the password to delete it anymore. Hmm. It's been two years. The password's probably something like little boys, <laughs> so some shit like that. You know it is. Since this was done. And I would have no way to get in there and close that account out. Otherwise, it would have been gone a year ago. Is there anybody who has any awareness or recollection of it? Oh, he's not even going to go to Frosty's Cool Taste. You know that. You know, he just, like, hides in his house and makes people, like, deliver food to him because he's too scared to go out. I I don't even know how to get a hold of Yeah, Lavatar, a, a little, slightly, just slightly a little more aware, Cyrax. Cyrax is a more diluted version of him. Hold of Austin anymore. He has since, he was uh, terminated from uh, ABC where we worked at at the time because of his being transgender and... He took all the stuff with him, so I have no knowledge of where anything's at anymore. If there was a way to get a hold of it, I would, and I'd show you. But he is no longer... What is that behind him? It looks like a scary, evil demon face. Do you see that, like, right over his shoulder? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a picture or something. But just for a second, it looked like an evil, scary demon face, like, peering over his shoulder. Even in Alaska that I know of. What's up, Rusty? Sure, I mean, it would just go such a long way to verify that this was for an actual PSA. Um, and I'm just trying to be as Absolutely, as Thomas, yeah. Two years ago, I don't know anything about it. That was two years ago. Because um, just from what it looked like to me, upon first glance, you know, soccer boys are easy to convince. He's wearing a dress and looks sheepish. Right, right, Frostmeth. His story doesn't make any sense. It was probably like... Like I said, they're just using this whole trans thing as just like a cover to try to not seem like perverts. It was probably some kind of perverted bullshit. They fired him because they found out that he was a diddler or some shit. You know, it looks it looks pretty bad. Hey, Marty, I know. I understand that. What you need to do is uh, just sometime on your own time, go on to Pinterest and look. Yeah, Grubby, that's what I'm saying. He can kind of hold a normal conversation. He can still deflect and all that bullshit, but he's not just... At Rex's level of just like, up transgender youth or transgender girls and see what pictures it pulls up. Evan, that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. He'd probably kill him. It's Rupal. He, he, I feel like he would just get mad and like suffocate Rex and, at night. That's why Sally had to adopt him in the first place because if he was like actually being raised by him, Rupal would have probably like bashed him against. The, to the side of the wall or some shit when he was crying as a baby. He just does not seem the type that could handle that. What's up? Those are, those are comments are there. Those are not my comments. 
I can't. I, that's why we use the pictures only, not the comments with them. Fair enough. If you were, um, if you were to talk, to, if you were to talk to my parole officer, Matt Matthews, my former parole officer, he would. Uh, tell that's you pretty that much I had what it no is. No incidents in the four years that I was on parole after I got out of prison. I think he is. I think he is, Mew Mew. I think he's trying to flex in the webcam to try to make himself look more intimidating. <laughs> it's some, like, prison technique that he learned about always to, like, not wear a shirt and, like, flex to try to look more intimidating or some shit. So he wouldn't get his, like, booty got by the booty warrior. <laughs> he was in jail for a while. He was in prison for a while. So you know he gave it up. <laughs> you know he gave it up. I've had no issues through today. I keep in contact with my parole officer at least once a month just to let him know that I'm doing good. Matthew Matthews, is that what he said? I didn't even hear it if he said that shit. Matthew Matthews. It's a fake-ass name. That's like Sirhan Sirhan who shot Robert Kennedy. Fake-ass name. My parole officer at least once a month. And I've had no issues through today. I keep in contact with my parole officer at least once a month just to let him know that I'm doing good. Sure. I mean, you have somebody here saying that a convicted John Johnson. Of children in compromising positions. Um, <clears throat> well, I, I mean, and, uh, pretty much I Chester. Back, I went back and looked at that Pinterest page yesterday. I pulled it up and looked at it. And the only yeah, of course he seems nervous, mercenary. I bet this is like how he was kind of acting with the cops when the cops were like, so, tell me the truth, Rupal. Tell me the truth, Rupal. Yeah, you can see it. You can just like visualize this same motherfucker sitting in the cop car, talking to the cops, doing about the same shit, like, circumstantial evidence. The only scantily clad ones I saw were 19, 20-year-olds, and those are legal age. You hear that shit? Only scantily clad ones that I saw. Interest page yesterday. I pulled it up and looked at it. And the only scantily clad ones I saw were 19, 20 year olds. What and those fuck? are legal age. What the fuck is he even talking about? That's so Cyrax. She's 18. Oh, she's 18. He just didn't say 18 because, you know, he didn't want to sound exactly like he did by still saying 19 and 20. So there's nothing. Hey, yeah, Thomas, for sure. Nothing illegal about that at all. <clears throat> I'm not saying that it's necessarily illegal, but. It... Yeah, yeah, Elmer. I am. I'm just saying. This, I'm just saying. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, just. It made me kind of feel like repulsed and revolted. Like, well, I just don't understand what they were. Where were you looking to find uh, a picture of, of a... Evan, that picture is famous. I'll give you a cheer. That picture is on everything. You you broke the internet with that one. Boy, saying that. I just, all, I typed, all I typed in on Pinterest... <laughs> Eventually, that's so funny. Matthew... Oh, Matt Matthews. <laughs> it's so funny was transgender youth, transgender uh, female, transgender... It's got to be genetics or DNA memories. I have a theory that DNA has memories in it. And so, like, your DNA has the memories of the other, like, fucking DNA that it used to be. And that's why, like, shit continues. Even if you don't know the person and you still, like, kind of, like, feel connected to them or have the same mannerisms, I think it's just fucking DNA memory. A girl... And those were the pictures that pulled up. <laughs> yeah, they have the same mob. <laughs> um, fair enough. Um, I don't know. There's just no evidence of this campaign. You would think there'd be, you know, with social media raising awareness of it. Um, like, who is this Austin person's last name? Like, they've just vanished. Oh yeah, Tim. Nowhere to be found. Uh, I. I actually never knew Austin's last name. It wasn't until the last uh, few months that he was working there that I was getting to know Hell him. Hell yeah, Anthony. And he invited me to his birthday. It's like what I've always thought, like even even before, I'm sure there's like newer studies and shit. That's just like something I've always thought. It's like why birds and like fish and shit always go back to the same place year and year. 
and the butterflies fly down to Mexico year after year after year, even though they've never been there. It's the fucking DNA passing on the memories. Birthday party at the Blue Moon, which is a gay bar in town. Hey, <laughs> wait, what? Oh. <laughs> uh, the Blue Moon. A uh, few months that he was working there that I was getting to know him. Uh, he invited me to his birthday party at the Blue Moon, which is a gay bar in town. Uh, I went to that just to support him. <laughs> yeah, sure you did. Sure you did. Sure you did. I went there just to support him. Just to support him. <laughs> With his friends. But. Ghost Dog. It's weird. He does. He does look younger than Cyrax somewhat. Cyrax looks so old. Because as you know, my older brother who has passed away was gay. And I, I have a lot of friends that are gay because of that. <laughs> Hell so yeah. I had no problem. Hell yeah, Frostman. Problem going to this par birthday party with him. And that's when we talked about doing... <laughs> Transgender awareness. Talked about doing transgender awareness. He had to put awareness in there. And what he did with the information after I helped him put, after Scarlett and I helped put it together. So at a gay bar, at the gay bar, he started talking about transgender kids and decided to share a bunch of pictures of each other to each other of this shit. That was the end of it. I have no idea what he actually did with What's the up, Shaggy Boy? But the reason we did it is because the last Right, Thomas? <laughs> like, he honestly should have got, like, got in prison. He really should have got got in prison. But I'm sure he lied about shit. It's got transgender laws. Because didn't Sally, didn't even Sally once try to restate one of his lies? Like, oh no, blah blah blah. It wasn't really like that. She was however old and blah, blah, blah. Like, didn't Sally once repeat his bullshit, like, fake version of events? Especially pertaining to youth are so strict. Hmm. The, uh, you, you guys talked about the cyberbullying and all that stuff that you guys, and, and Chance and everybody else has mentioned over the time that I've been, on, been uh, paying attention to this. Okay, that was the major thing that was happening <laughs> up here. Is the thank you, Burger kids Boy. That are, That's what's are up. known to be transgender up here were being bullied in school. They were not being allowed to use uh, appropriate bathrooms. Alaska, up until last year, did not have. You see, he's just using this as a cover. He doesn't care about this shit. He does not care about that whatsoever. He's trying to use it as a shield, as some sort of protective shield from him being a pervert. And I hate to say it, but I feel like a lot of them do it. A lot of people who are, like, using this, like, trans kid shit as a shield for being perverts. Uh, protections for uh, transgender youth being able to uh, be in school and be safe. Hmm. Um. Shaggy boy. Did the gun get removed? That's what I want to know. Is there still a rifle in the Wilkins household because it might have actually got taken by the cops at some point. I feel like he would have brandished it again if it's still in the house. So, yeah, and Scarlett said that you were married at one point? Is that true? <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Burger Boy. Angus Rambert. Champion of trans <laughs> Him. He's the poster child for it. We were married for two years. She divorced me because I couldn't give her any kids. I'm, I can't have kids anymore. Do you think, do you think the state sterilized him? <laughs> Do you? He can't have kids anymore. Do you think because he got convicted of like you know doing that shit, he went to prison and they sterilized him? Okay, I thought Scarlet was transgender though. No, no. <clears throat> Hang on a second here. Scarlet. Oh yeah, he's a deviant bike path to enlightenment. That's true. He's a perverted deviant. He can just combine them together. What's up, faded? I think I just looked this up. Um. <laughs> Put it on a tall um, yeah. shelf. Put it on a tall shelf out of Rex's reach. Oh, uh, hopefully it's gone though. I mean, I wouldn't say that normally that I would want anybody's guns taken away, but Cyrex is unstable. He brandishes it on camera. I they don't need it in the house with him. If Cyrex wasn't there, yeah, let Ed had and Sally like defend themselves against somebody with a rifle. But Cyrex doesn't need it. He's a danger. Uh -oh. 
I, I did notice something else about the Pinterest, like a lot. That's what I'm seeing in tactical coat. Because it wasn't until like 2000 and something when they finally stopped sterilizing people in prison. Like maybe 2006 or sometime around in there. That's when they stopped sterilizing people. And I'm sure Alaska might have even been slower. Slower at adopting the Stop Sterilizing People Act. A lot of the links of the people who posted them that were attached like have all been deleted. Yeah, well like I said, I can't delete it because I don't... Oh, God, that'd be the worst place for it, Razov, if it was just under Sally's bed. What's up, Cricket? I don't have the password to get in there and delete it. So I can't even get... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Cricket. Yeah, there's a chemical cast sterilization option. I don't know if it still goes on, because I remember they got really mad about it at some point. Uh, it, it could still be going on in some places. Maybe like Alaska. Get off of there. I, I want that thing. That thing should have been gone a year and a half ago. But I can't delete it because I don't have any way to get into the account and delete it. Yeah, I'm not seeing like a single picture of a trans man. What's up, low battery you know, smoke detector? Boys as girls. Because that wasn't the only that wasn't the only site that we used for getting pictures. That was just where some of the better pictures were for what we wanted to use for bike path. But he might also. I'm sure he's too stupid and he would like wind up shooting himself. But he also might like go crazy and shoot Sally. He's the kind of person who would do something like that. He's the kind of crazy little person who gets mad, like, no, I am gonna walk to my girlfriend in Arkansas's house. Bang, bang. And then leave, and then, like, try to walk and shit. Higher quality pictures. But there's not, like, a single picture of a, of a Hell yeah, Frost, girl man. dressed as a man. Yeah, man, you're always here. That's what's up. Like, Austin. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm telling you. We didn't use pictures from the, uh, all of our pictures that we used. We didn't use. We didn't use all the pictures that were on Pinterest. We just selected those pictures as possible pictures, and then we went from there. But there's got to be plenty of pictures of young... <laughs> yeah, broadside. That's so weird. He's, he wants it deleted, but yet he's like, oh, no, it was just for this thing. It was just for this thing. But he's still like, it should have been deleted a year ago. Um, trans men. Kind of like uh, Cyrex just deleting his channels and starting another one. I bet he would have like just started another one. Hidden. And, and you, for whatever reason, didn't choose to select a single one of those. Which, to well, me, just doesn't... Uh, Cricket, we just had... The only thing I really could find is the State versus Smith when it went to, like, the Supreme Court of Alaska. But it was... 1994, so yeah, he fits the time frame for getting, like, sterilized. Absolutely. It seemed like it would be sympathetic to Austin's play. Also, here we go. Look at this. This is when, like, this part after his appealing was going down was in, uh, 2002. But, July 26, 1994. Yet, Cyrax always says his dad went to jail the day he was born. But obviously it says right here, 1994, so Cyrix would have been three or four years old. Well, like I said, it was we were doing it for transgender youth, not specifically for all. I write Frost Math, forgot the password. Austin himself, it was just for transgender youth in general. He, he thought that that would be a way to get more... Uh, more... <laughs> be free, right? <laughs> Damn, that, that, that might like, you know, prevent, prevent it from happening more information out there about transgenders period uh, because of the he, his main issue that he wanted to push was for transgender youth not to, not for himself hmm. mr Sacco, i've seen some uh, footage of that when i went to the like museum of death in new orleans in the very back they just have a theater playing like grizzly stuff and there was like a video of like mob justice own like a diddler from it's somewhere in South America and they were everybody was just killing him ripping him apart <laughs> chopping him up hitting him with stuff it was savage so yeah Rupal better be glad that he doesn't live in a place where frontier justice is still an option okay hell yeah Vivian let's wait for it to like see if it'll pop up Is it gonna pop up? <laughs> um, 
I, but do me do, just do me one favor, please. Could it be the goblin's father? Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Vivian. <laughs> He's got so many, like, mannerisms. Cyrex is just like a failed version of him. <laughs> you know, when you go and you see the experimented, like, people, and it's like, here's our final product, and it's like, you know, some kind of monster thing. It's like, here's all the failed ones that didn't acquire to this level. And you see all, like, nasty little deformed ones that are like, kill me! Kill me! That's what Cyrex is. Please, I've already lost my job over this. Please leave Aaron Morris alone. Drop all the BS with Aaron. He's already fired me over this. He doesn't need any more bad publicity. He's run a good business. He's been the best boss I've had in, in years. And he knew over a year ago about my past. And he kept me on because there were no issues. I wasn't causing any issues at work. I wasn't messing Oh no, bike path. It, it really is. It's Angus, but it's spelled weird like that. And he changed it to that. He voluntarily changed his name to some kind of weird ass spelling. With anybody, I wasn't doing nothing. And that's why he kept me on for the last year. Okay, I know that the chance. Yeah, GG. That, that just proves that he is Rax's dad right there, calling the police on himself. Rax is raising a campaign of his own to have the guy protested. Um, he feels that he doesn't know how to run a business properly. Um, my boss knows that my boss knows how to run a business. That's why he let me go because he knows what this could do to his business. He likes me as an employee. I've done no wrong when in the two years I've worked for him. I have supported him and I've done extra jobs for him to help him keep his business going. I even my vehicle that I own, I bought from my boss because I know his business and I trust him and he trusts me. And that's why he. He knows I'm not going to do anything. He knew I wasn't going to do anything, but it's because of the bad publicity towards his business that I got fired. <laughs> Hell yeah, he GG. You know? He would if it wasn't damaging his business. No, I get, no, I get this. Like if, if, but he employed Austin, so you would think he'd be aware of your campaign. No. Okay, you're, you're, you're missing the point. This was, that, was at, that was when I worked with Austin, that was at ABC, not at Morris Auto Detail. ABC. <laughs> Two different jobs. Right on. So he branched out. I haven't, I haven't worked. At, I haven't worked at ABC in two years. <clears throat> hmm, okay. That ABC is probably assembly of bastard criminals. I quit that job because the owner was fucking with my pay. <laughs> and then I went to work for Aris. Fucking with my pay. I'm quitting. I need my money, Marty, or whoever the fuck the boss's name is. Same shit. About a month later. Absolutely, Gilgamark. That's it. I have no problem being on here and answering your guys' questions because I know, and anybody that knows me, all what few friends I have after being out of prison. I've only been out of prison for six years. Right, Elmer? Yeah, of course. He trusted him so much, he kicked him to the curb. I'm sure, like, because I think he says that he didn't reveal it to the guy until later. I'm sure they were just like, what the fuck? You're a diddler, and now because you're a diddler and you have a diddler for a son, all the shit's getting, like, brought to light. What friends I do know, or that do know me, will stand by me and tell you that I'm not doing anything illegal or wrong. <laughs> exactly, Frostmeth. That's what it is. The owner was taking out taxes of my pay. I should have been making seven billion a year. <laughs> That's exactly why he quit. Is there anyone who knows Austin? No, no I've, got, I've got family. Anyone I've got family. I've got my family that uh, family and friends that live around. Other PDF files, Mr. Sako. That's the only friends that they have. Down here by me. That, and I'm not going to give any names out because I don't want them being harassed as well. But I've got seven or eight friends that live in the trailer court where I live, and they will. Yeah, Doctor Strange, love. But I think that's probably because of his parole originally when he got out of jail. He had to have a job because of his parole, and so he just kind of, like, maintained it. He does try to have a job, though. If Cyrex ever went to jail and got paroled, he would never be able to maintain holding down that kind of thing. Stand by me 100%, because they know I'm not doing anything wrong, and I haven't done anything wrong, and I'm trying to better my life because of the one fuck-up I did in 94. Sure. Um, I, admit, I admit that I fucked up back in 94. I admit... 
my pro past mistakes, Marty. I, I done admitted to it. I owned up to my actions. Same fucking shit. God damn. I've had no problems with that. I went through sex offender treatment. I, I went through it for four years. You see that? He said he went through sex offender treatment? That's where they sterilized him at. I promise you. That's what it is. Um, I admit I admit that I fucked up back in 94. I have had no problems with that. I went through sex offender treatment. What is that? What does that entail? What does that entail? That's so weird. They should have just like, instead of chemically castrating him, they should have just straight up turned him into a eunuch. I, I went through it for four years completed it with with the highest grades I could get in the, in it oh, for doing homework and everything. the highest grades I could get in it he just said he got the highest grades he could get in the sex offender class he did it with with the highest grades I could get in the, in it oh, for doing homework and everything else that we had to do oh. and apply applying uh, techniques that they give us that they applying techniques that they give us what the hell does this even mean? So there's some sort of course that teaches prisoners how, like, just just turn, just shut the door, just turn away, don't look at the children, just turn away. Like, what the fuck does this even entail? Techniques? Some weird ass shit. They teach us to uh, no longer reoffend, and I haven't reoffended. I, it's been I've been out of prison for six years, been off parole for four years. <laughs> Hell because yeah, Davey. Because I am doing good. I'm not doing anything like that wrong. <laughs> right, Fosco? <laughs> right on. It just yeah. seems weird that, you know, how old were you when you, you brutally raped the 14-year-old on the bike path? I, I was <laughs> oh, shit, be free. They just spray it with cold water like a dog. They're like, bad. Stop doing that. Or do they condition them? Like, <laughs> hook them up to, like, a clockwork orange type thing and open up their eyes and show them, like, little pictures of kids, and just, like, buzz them and, like, shock them. Just like, no, you are not attracted to this. Bzz, and shock them and shit. But we still should just, like, go, like, put them on the old <laughs> chopping block and, like, chop! You're a eunuch now. 16, I mean, I was 26 years old. 26. Okay, I'm 63 now. Right on. He was 26 when he did that shit. Hmm, I mean, yeah, teaching how not to reoffend, I don't know. Or teaching them how to, like, be more sneaky and covert with their shit. I, I guess there are people who argue for the capacity of a form of rehabilitation, but I don't know that compiling pictures of kids. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking, Frostmeth. Like, you don't get caught on your first, your first little, like, outing. He's done other horrible shit, too. And he felt bold and brazen enough to, like, attack someone in fucking daylight. On a bike path. In sexual position. Probably who we got away with it with was Sally because she like lets everything slide. And with comments necessarily indicates that. And, and I'm sorry for being skeptical. Um, well, Marty, you are entitled to your opinion. I will give you that. But the truth is the truth. And I'm trying to put it out there. That's why I'm on here with you right now. I mean, I kind of think it's more along the lines of, of self-preservation. That's understandable. Like, I still think you are employed there. It's just, you know, my hunch. Actually, I'm, I am not. I got fired today. I got told, <laughs> do not. I turned in my key today and was told not to come back. He got fired that day. See, I don't know. Did he really get fired or is it just like a lie like Rex would tell? No, actually, today. Actually, I got fired actually today, Marty. Actually, today because of you, bully. What? Well I mean, if this guy fired you over this, then I say fuck him. Uh, let the people go crazy on Edward Morse or whatever his name is. Cause Hell yeah, he Tokyo. Really, you know, saw you as a valuable employee and as a good guy. You said yourself you went backwards. Over Absolutely, Elmer. That's what I'm saying. He did 21 years in prison. He definitely was getting it. <laughs> he was definitely getting it. Over for him. And the guy just goes and fires you instead of says, okay, well, let's figure out how we can, uh, you know, stop this. And fuck well, actually, actually, let him have it. okay, let's see it for a second, Smackle Cat. Sure. Because he did tell me that he was going to give me some time off and let this blow over, 
but when you guys started attacking his star rating on his business, he went from a perfect 5.0 business down to a 4.0, 4.8 overnight because the comments that were posted with my name specifically on it. Because it had my name specifically on those comments, that's the reason he let me go. Well, I feel we should drop him down to a 3.8 just for firing you for this <laughs> whole thing. I mean, I, you know, a little justice for yourself, you know? Yeah, Doc Holiday. Like, I don't know. Does she really realize how, like, messed up her entire family is? Let's keep him going down, I say, you know? If it's going to be that way. I don't want, I don't want that for Aaron and yeah love it Tar. hey it's big bubba i love that thing i think it's like classic games canada made the like thing where big bubba like calls up like hey cyrax is big bubba i need marty to come back to jail to be my bitch it's so fucking funny and his family he aaron has a aaron has a family that he's got to raise he's only he's only in his 30s He's had this business for eight years, and he wants to keep it. He wants to make his life out of it. I think <laughs> he deserves it. That's what it is. That's what it is, Elmer. That's why he's got that cut, like, mewing jawline shit going on. It's because he had to, like, service, like, everybody in prison. He's done right by us. I mean, you got to I'm, I'm the one that has the, I'm the, one that has the problems uh, because of my past. It's not Aaron. I'm the one that screwed up. I'm the one that went to prison. I'm the one that did my time. I'm the one that's got to survive through this. He doesn't. Rag Thomas? That's true. Sally could be. <laughs> it, it, Sally absolutely could be a sicko. We don't fucking know. Who knows what she did, like, younger. She might have, like, initiated it with him when he was, like, a little, like, kid and shit. And that's why he, like, did it with her later and made Cyrax. He doesn't have to survive through this. I do. Did he know about your background when he hired you? No, he didn't know until a year ago. Okay. Because because I don't have to register as a sex offender, I'm not required by law to notify my employers any longer. Now that I'm off parole, I don't Hell have yeah, to notify cricket. my employers of my past. It's the only reason he found out is because I I had talked to him once about being in jail, and he pushed the issue and kept pushing the issue until I explained to him what my past was. Well, he was ready to fight. He wanted to fire. What if that tattoo isn't an eagle? It's just like an arrow, like pointing up to him. It's just like bitch across it or something. Me then, but I was, he considered me such a good employee. He kept me on and tried to work, look past this. Well, now this has come up and it's made it harder for him to keep me on. Wouldn't that come up on a background check though? He didn't do background check. Oh, well he fucked up then. <laughs> I mean, he's hiring a pedophile or a fucking well, I'm rapist. Not a, I'm not a pedophile. There's a sure, difference. You are. I, can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your eyes, Rupal. You are definitely a pedophile. I mean, you're supposed to, Frost Meth, but he was trying to, like, slip under the radar and be like, oh, yeah, no, blah, 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 blah. don't do a background check. No, it's cool. You can trust me. And then once the guy found out exactly what his crimes were, he was like, fuck this. I'm firing your ass. Hopefully. Hopefully he really did, and they're not just, like, hiding him and being like, oh, no, we're just hiding you, Rupal. Don't worry. You remind me of a I man know, named Tony. Name first off, first off my name's not Rupal. First off, my name is not Rupal. It's Angus. <laughs> Tony, not... in your eyes. I can see it in your eyes, Rupal. You are definitely a pedophile. You remind me of a I man know, named Tony. Name not... you first off, my name's not Rupal. First off, my name is not Rupal. It's Angus. Angus? Yeah, I had my name legally oh. changed five years ago. <laughs> you said your name is Anus? <laughs> no, I said Angus. No, <laughs> oh, don't even say that Angus, like the beef. Oh, my God. Right, exactly. Well, I'm gonna call you. Anyhow, because you're an I, was not, I was not required pedophile. to. Your son threatened me to wave the gun at me tonight. And he's up, Donna Shore? To fight. I will be showing up too. Um, I don't think Angus really cares about that, to be honest. Um, Edward Morris, or whatever his name is, we'll call Edward him Zach Morris. Morris. I think he's an asshole, and I encourage everybody to lower that to a two. What's up, bad brutal? Fuck him if he's gonna fire, you know, a hardworking man fresh out of jail. And he's got a family as well to think about. It's such a stupid name, and it's spelled so stupid too. I mean, come on, it's Cy it's Cyrax's dad. Cyrax doesn't know how to spell DJ Shadowblade. Remember, it was spelled all sorts of crazy ass ways. Do we really expect him to spell it other than some kind of weird ass shit like that? Come on, 
Cyrex spells his with two X's instead of one, so you know it's really him. And Angus spells his with an O, so you know it's really him. That O represents the big O mouth that he makes whenever he, like, you know, gets a penis in it. And, you know, if he fires you, I say we get him down to a two-star rating. He obviously has some sort of oil, oral fixation because he keeps, like, smoking on his vape. He's so used to having things shoved in his mouth every couple of minutes, he has to get that vape and shove it in there. Fuck him. Uh, you know, <laughs> crashes, burn his business down to, like, Connie's house. You know, let's just you know, burn it down. And please don't talk about Connie like that. Connie was the love of my life from uh, from elementary school. We were married for a, uh, quite a long time, and her death hurt me hard. But they weren't even together, because if you look at the Connie, like, police report, she was with some other dude. And she was married to some other dude. She, she, died, she, died, she, died, she died in a house fire that was because of a, a wood start, stove. By the way, how did the fire start? Wood, a wood stove. She was using a wood stove that didn't have proper piping through the walls. It had, she, ran, she ran a single, stove, single wall stove pipe through the walls, and it got too hot and burned down the house. I heard it was on Chance's birthday. Actually, it was on Buddy's birthday. Actually, it was on Buddy's birthday. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> he kind of looks like Hob Dad Clint. They they would probably be buddies. Rupal and Clint would probably like hang out and be buddies. Buddy's birthday. Oh, I, yeah. I heard she fucked up Buddy's birthday cake, so they burnt the house down with her inside of it. Not even close. Oh, no. well, that was just a rumor. Even I'm sorry. Right, Pill? I don't know. He probably only plays like a uh, shit. Whatever, like a hurdy gurdy or some shit. You know. He's listening to that kind of music. A lute. There you go. He probably only plays a fucking lute instead of a guitar. Because we know he only listens to that really bad Dio Pagan shit. Don't even start, that. Been, Don't even start anything been. bad like that, please. I'm That's sorry. I'm nice, I'm nice enough to come on here and talk to you. No, I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. Don't said, disrespect my late wife like that, please. Sally said she, she doesn't was, deserve any of this. Correct, Sally Thomas. Said she was fully disabled? No, she wasn't. Okay. Just mentally? <laughs> Tokyo. <Yeah. laughs> that was the pre -op. He knows all about proper piping from prison. Some mental issues, yes. She had problems with uh, ADHD and uh, I can't remember what the other one was that she had. But she did. Uh, addiction to drugs, more like it. She did have some mental issues that made it hard for her to get some stuff done. Hmm. It took me three years to teach her how to drive a car. Oh, wow. It took... It took him three years to teach Cyrex's mom how to drive a car? Oh, man! Oh! Oh! oh. Shit! Looks like Cyrex got some of his mom's DNA, too! <laughs> and I drive a stick shift, so... I'm sure he drives a stick shift. Oh, uh, I'm sure he knows all about driving them sticks. Were you in protective custody when you were in prison? No, I was not. I was in general population. <laughs> Absolutely, Vivian. How are you still walking right now? I've had my fights. I've got my scars. What's but when I, once I... Once... Right, Fosco? See, this is how I've always imagined it. I've always imagined it that her and some dude were doing drugs, whether it be a downer and they passed out, or whether it be like an upper and they've been awake for a while and passed out, and they left the fucking stove door open they were cold they started burning some fire left the sto stove door open it filled up the house with fucking black ass smoke they like passed out and they got burnt to death that's just what i've always visualized it in my brain but it obviously had something to do with drugs they were doing drugs while they passed out and let that shit happen once i stood my ground and let people know that <laughs> absolutely bahala I wonder about Buddy. What if Buddy got, like, the other, like, the better traits? I mean, not to say, I don't think they have any good traits that they could have passed on, either one of them. But, you know, it would be kind of like twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Cyrex is like the Danny DeVito. And I, I never denied, when I was in prison, I never denied what I was in prison for. That's part of what saved me. I did not deny my case. What's that, Mike, what, what's that a tattoo what on your chest there? What's up, WEF? What's, which that, one? I've got my best That one on your left shoulder there. What, on this the, one here? Yeah. That's a Celtic knot with a lion in it. A Celtic knot with a lion in it. See, that's where he's saying that shit. And all this fucking 
bullshit Celtic shit on his channel. Celtic nuts! So yeah, I feel like that's some prison shit that rubbed off on him. Um, were you that big of a loser that you couldn't get pussy at 26 so you had to rape a 14 year old? Damn! Oh! <laughs> Schmeggle got him with that one, holy shit. No, that's, that's not what happened at all. But he's like, no, that's not what happened at all, see? Now he's gonna be like Cyrax and try to be like, that's not what happened. Actually, I was set up. Actually, it was a setup. You don't have proof, Marty. Then why did you rape the uh, 14 year old? Yeah, I, I, what's up, autistic I'm cat? Not gonna get it, I'm not gonna get into that on on live video. Uh, it's been extensively evaluated. Uh, you know, you, you took her about 50 feet off of a bike path. You held a t-shirt over her head. Uh, you threatened her life, and then you called the police, saying that the guy looks like you, but wasn't you. But your bike path. Uh, your bike tires lined up perfectly and there was like a gross preponderance of evidence like it, I, I would love to know what happened if they're getting it wrong i am not going to go and get oh, into this you. on live video do i have any of the details incorrect you have some of it incorrect but it's that's because the courts had it incorrect so the courts have it incorrect because that's not really what happened i'm not going to argue that because you're, you're reading the documents correctly Okay, what aspects? I was I was convicted. I was convicted solely on circumstantial evidence. There was actually no physical evidence to uh, convict me. I was, but that's pretty much Doctor Strange Love. That's that's pretty much either here or there. I was convicted. I did the time. Well, but hang on a second. Wasn't your front? <laughs> he should. He should pill that. That is how this uh, interview should have ended. He should have whipped it out, jumped up, because we know he doesn't have any pants on. Look at him. He's sitting there naked. He probably should have jumped up. And uh, called Marty the N word. Back tire uh, identical. They're, I think they're actually different makes and models. Um, they said that they were similar. But if you also looked in that area where the crime was committed at, there were many bicycles that went that, down there. Not only that, but that was that bike path where that happened at was on my way to work that I went that I rode that bike every day. My bike tracks were going to be there. Oh, uh, his bike tracks are gonna be there because he rode that bike path every day to prey on people and look for people, probably. Right on. Uh, and there was just another uh, guy who was identical to you along the <laughs> bike path, or I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm. I'm just telling you that I was convicted on circumstantial evidence. They had no definite proof that it was me that did it. Uh, DNA. Where's your proof, Marty? Where's the proof, Marty? You don't have any definite proof. It's all circumstantial evidence. Although, he confessed to it. We all know that he did it. He still tried to do some sort of loophole with like, well, technically it was circumstantial evidence, so we don't know if I did it now, did we? They didn't, DNA didn't prove it was me. Nothing. But I Hell was yeah, convicted lavish. on the preponderance of the evidence. There was too much evidence that said it could be me, so I was convicted. Right, by path, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry that they always have to like argue and talk about you. Huh. The fact that you got a warrant out for your arrest for raping babies. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, Dad, get out of here. Um, my, uh, that's the old man. Um, wow. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty, it's pretty, I'd probably shy away from any type of youth activity or uh, <laughs> anything like that i mean if i had that con conviction you know, like campaigning for any sort of youth it looks i mean there's a guy who also did that his name was jerry sandusky <laughs> do you know who that is uh actually i do know who that is because i'm a football fan there you uh, go oh probably icy bird okay but uh the the whole thing is is i have ever since that has that one uh, pro project I did with Austin. I have not done anything, any other project like that. I do uh, support the STAR program here in Alaska, which is stand together uh, uh, for rape awareness because of the things that have happened in my past. Because there are a lot of things that you guys don't know about my past, and I'm not going to throw it out there. Wait, did that even make sense? Did that did that anagram even make sense? Star stand together for grape awareness or something like that? That didn't like that anagram didn't really like line up, did it? But there is a lot of things out there that uh, affect how people live, and it affected my life as well. 
And because, so I have, as part of my treatment What's and up, my Zoom not Master? offending, I actually donate money to and support the uh, star program up here. Um, Chance uh, once asked a friend of mine for uh, nude photos of his uh, deceased uh, girlfriend. Would it be far of me? That's true, Fosco. Josh does ride on bikes and take advantage of girls in the woods. Mm. There's a lot of like similarities. Me to ask for nudes of Connie. <laughs> Absolutely, Thomas. And then <laughs> Smeggle Cat right there, like, oh, that's so funny. He's really now like trying to piss him off. They've been going for about 30 minutes, like, yeah, let's start like trying to piss him off now. I would shoot you for that. <laughs> oh. well, there you go. I mean, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because uh, I mean, I happen to be that person. And uh, <laughs> Chance asked me for that, then he accused me of murdering her. How'd you feel? Granted, you were in custody at the time, so you couldn't have murdered her, but how'd you feel if those accusations were uh, were loving your way? I would have been very badly hurt because Connie and I were still madly in love the day she died. I wonder I wonder if Cyrex has ever learned to ride a bicycle. I doubt it. Chances threatened... Uh, uh... Maybe like a big wheel. Maybe he could ride one of those like big wheels like Damien like, rode around on and shit our lives as well with a gun and has claimed to have military training. Have you ever taught him how to use a gun or has he ever fired a gun that you know of? I have, my stepfather was in the military. <clears throat> not, not Ed, but my step, my stepfather that was married <laughs> not to my Ed. mother when they adopted Chance was an airborne. I feel like he's about the same age as Ed. Aren't they? Isn't him and Ed about the same age? And then, if him and Ed are about the same age, isn't that strange that Sally's with Ed, being that he's about, like, the same age as her son? Ranger, and so he most likely does have the knowledge and know-how. Absolutely, for all, Smith. But not for me. Do you have okay, a good I, I have not physically seen... I have not physically seen Chance since he was about five weeks old. <clears throat> Do you have a weapon to shoot me if I were to ask for the nudes? No, I'm not allowed to. Oh, okay. Well, then, may I have nudes of Connie? Oh, that's so funny. But at the same time, I think that they were trying to, like, maybe get him in trouble. Like, oh, you do have a gun? Let's report this shit that this felon's got this gun here. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, I don't have any nudes. I don't have any nudes of Connie. Right? It is very awkward when I'm saying, like, not Ed. Yeah, Ed is 51. Yeah, and he just said he was 50-something. Rupal just said he was 50-something in this a little bit earlier. So, isn't that odd? There's another There's another correlation of maybe, like, Sally's a, a, a diddler in and of herself. And she's, like, attracted to Rupal or something. Bonnie, anyway. Maybe that's what turned uh, dead gay Bill gay. Maybe he got, like, molested by Sally, too, and it, like, fucked with his brain or something. Do you have a picture of her you could show us? Actually, no, I don't. I don't have a lot of the stuff that I had before I went to prison. Unfortunate. Um, I lost a lot of stuff. Do you ever plan on seeing him, or is it just kind of something that you... Is it is it Rupal, or is it the other one? I thought Rupal was, like, the younger brother from the other one. How, how old was... Because I know that Sally, like, got married or whatever when she was, like, 14. So, was she only, like, 15 when she had Rupal? You don't have much of an interest in it. And I don't blame you if that's the case. I, I, I saw a chance when I was in Ohio in 2018. I was I was actually down there for a while. Okay, first he says he hasn't seen Chance since he was like five weeks old. And then he said he saw him in 2018. He's like changing about every time he sees him. He keeps like adding more. He's like, no, I haven't seen him since he was five weeks old. I saw him in 2018. And now he's going to say in a minute that he's seen him when he was 21. And none of that math adds up. And I saw him and my mother both. What did you guys do? Just went out to dinner. <laughs> God damn, Mr. Oh, yeah. Sacco. Was it an uh, apple piece? Uh, no, actually, I don't. Oh, Rupal's the older brother? Okay, Gigi Allen. Somehow, I was under the impression that Bill was older than Rupal for some reason. I remember where we went. It was in Ohio. It was, it was in uh, North Canton. Yeah, he doesn't have a good uh, track record. At What's up, Games, Anthony? But, uh, I mean, that's neither here nor there. Um, I don't either. I don't no? either. I worked I worked at Applebee's for three days and got fired. 
Yeah, Ripple just said that Bill was older than him. That's so weird. <laughs> it's so strange. Like, which way is it? Really? It wasn't because people were leaving bad reviews, was it? No. Actually, it was because uh, the regional manager told me not to talk to anybody about being in prison, and half the employees <laughs> were, were, were former prisoners. Oh, my and God. And one of the... Uh, one of the assistant managers asked me where I got my tattoos had done at, and I said, on the inside. Well, she went and reported it to the reg regional manager, and I was fired. Uh, probably, like, they, like, looked it up, figured out exactly why you went to jail, and were like, oh, no, fire him, fire him. On the spot. You know, that's disheartening, too. If you'd like to give the uh, address and name of the Applebee's, I'm sure we could lower their rating as well as Morris. <laughs> no, um, no. Yeah, Bill is Chance's uncle, and I'm guessing it's... The, the same parents as Rupal here. They've they've just they've just lost my business for the rest of my life. Because they, they although they, they they do they do have good food, I will not go in there and eat. Now, what are your plans moving forward if, now that you're not working at the uh, uh, Morris Auto? I'll find okay. another job somewhere and uh... yeah, pretty much Cookie. Just don't go to Alaska. That's all this is proving. Don't go to Alaska or Ohio. I keep my, keep it li not listed on Facebook so people can harass me. It's a smart move. Yeah, I, I I'll, wherever I go to work, I'm going to keep it private. <laughs> Do you, uh... Right, Thomas? He's acting like the tattoos got him fired and not the, like, criminal history that he, like, failed to disclose. Do you have any plans of going back to Ohio? No, not at this time. I've I've only I was only down there. I was actually working for my Fucking aunt. Applebee's. That lived in Akron or in North Canton, Ohio. Uh, she brought me down there to help her work on her house, but she's since passed away. So I have, other than my son and my mother, I have no reason to go down there. And they don't usually associate with me until except for the last. The I haven't spoke to Chance since he was twenty one. Was the last time I spoke to him. Oh. And see now he says I haven't spoken to Chance since he was twenty one. But, like, he would be 28 or 27 in 2018. Other than when I saw him in Ohio. If, uh, I, I'm, I don't, I don't want to be, hope this isn't a touchy subject, but if your, um, you know, mother were to pass away, do you, would, if Chan, you know, think he'd come to live with you, or do you, what do you think would happen to him? Because he's got, I like, you him. know. I couldn't handle him. <laughs> Pretty much, Icy yeah. Bird. What do you think would happen to him then? I mean, he's what's got, up, what, Gilmore? What would he do? He refuses to get a job. He's got no money saved up. That's what's up. You got them dank nachos. What kind of nachos did you use? Ruffles. That's how you make the dank ones. You got to use ruffles. I mean, do you think I have, no, I, have all? No, I have no idea? I've, and I, I haven't thought about that because <laughs> to me, I've lost the rest of my family. My grandmother, all of my aunts, my dad have all passed away. The only family I have left is my brothers and sisters and my mom and my son. Hmm. And that's it. And to think of mom being gone, it's not something I try to think about. So he just doesn't even plan on when, when Sally's gone. Just like Cyrax, he has no plan. He hasn't thought about it at all. He's just expecting Sally to take care of his son. And he has no responsibility. Oh, I haven't really thought about it. Like, what the hell? I mean, yeah, but it's bound to happen, you know, it's something you, you should, like, maybe have planned. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Gilmore Doritos Nacho Cheese. That's what's up. And for prepared well, for. Well, my, my whole th my whole thought on this right now, and that's just right at this minute, is hopefully by the time mom passes away. Right, Frost Meth. It's like when someone's, like, in their 50s and their parents die and they're like, I'm an orphan. Chance will get his shit straight and, and uh, do something with himself. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, with these, with the videos I've seen in the last three days, it's my, my hopes on that is dropping drastically. <laughs> but that's what I hope. For. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he kind of like bird Cyrix the air a little bit with the videos I've seen about him. I'm uh, 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 realizing that he's insane. My my hopes on that is dropping drastically. <laughs> but that's what I hope for. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, hopefully Buddy's doing better than, than Cyrax is. Or I mean, that's true, Cricket. But, I mean, Cyrax is obviously special needs. He admitted it himself. So, you know, at that point in time, uh, if you have a, if you're the one who, like, fathered a special needs child, and, like, your elderly mom is the one who's, like, raising him, you might, you might need to take on a little bit of responsibility for that. That's 
Buddy, Buddy is doing good. Uh, I have no contact with him. Uh, he was adopted by his foster parents when he was five years old, and they live down in the lower 48 somewhere. And he refuses any contact with any of our family at all. Hell yeah. Buddy's just like, fuck that. I ain't doing that. Fuck y'all. Yeah, I mean, so you don't have, you wouldn't want to say invest in his musical career or his uh, e-racing? I don't know anything about that, and I've heard him sing, and no thank you. <laughs> I was going to ask if you've heard any of his music. Uh. Right? Isn't it? Five? I wonder what happened to him up until then, like, how long did he live with them and shit? They were like, tried to raise him and tried to take care of him for a couple of years and then realized, oh no, we can't take care of him. State took him away and he got put up for adoption in foster care or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's gonna take him uh, far, you know, his music. Have you seen any of his artwork? Actually, I have seen, I have seen of his, some of his artwork, uh, it's the abstract. Yeah, Cricket, he also calls, he calls Rupal his brother. He calls him his brother, more so than he calls him his dad. So, yeah, absolutely. Stuff, but that's about it. And yeah. he does better than I do, so I can't complain there. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, he drew a cityscape that I like fairly recently. Um, <laughs> huh. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather not talk anymore about... Fair enough. Chance. This because this whole thing, this whole thing is about me. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, this whole thing's about me. I'd rather not talk about chance. This whole thing's about me. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Yeah, you're right. Um, this whole thing was about me and my path. JDA. Uh, I'm assuming that he is. I'm assuming that it's like actually like his biological like brother. But who knows? Connie could have been like you know getting done by like other guys besides Rupal, so it might not be one hundred percent. And what, what has led to me being fired from my job? That's the only part I want. That's the part I want to clear up. Your dealings with chance is your dealings with chance. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I would say that, that if I, if this was a, a, like a public service campaign to raise awareness for transgender youth, and like the pictures of feminized soccer boys are easy to convince is. A misappropriation or somehow misconstrued then then that is my apology for misunderstanding you know i, I don't know it looks I, it looks kind of strange to me i'm not gonna lie to you but my opinion you know at the end of the day is neither here nor there it's just my opinion yeah well like i said if i could if i had a way to delete that page <laughs> off there it would be it would be gone but i have no I'm way sure. to delete I'm that sure, I've, yeah. I've been in contact with pinterest and everything else trying to figure out how to get that off of there oh my i've God. been trying to get it down for a long time but i can't i don't why would he want to get it down because it ties back to him doing terrible diddler like overhanded things i have the password would you be willing to show i don't even i don't even i don't even remember the email address that's associated with that page it's been that long ago. <laughs> Cannabis. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I, uh, I don't know. What did they, uh, how did they, we have a person we know, uh, he has uh, issues with 14 year old girls at the mall. His name is Tony. Uh, what did they do to help you to get over your pedophilia? Uh, first off, I wasn't a pedophile. Okay, here we go. He's going to talk about that, like, Sterilization treatment he got. Well, oh, you raped a fourteen-year-old. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. What I'm saying. Let me finish. Stop. Stop right there sorry, and listen. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. At the time I at the time my crime was committed, I did not know the age of my victim. Okay. It God damn. I did not know the age of my victim. That's just kind of chilling when he said that shit. Like I don't care. I didn't know the age of my victim. Fucking straight up calling her a victim? Like, god damn, that's some chilling ass shit right there. Let okay. me finish. Stop. Stop right there sorry, and listen. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. At the, time I, at the time my crime was committed, I did not know the age of my victim. Okay? It wasn't until after I went to trial that I found out the age of my victim. What the hell? Oh my god. It is terrible. What's up, Bronze Beats? Exactly, Timo. Yeah, he admitted to it. 
After all this, he straight up admitted to it. After all that, like, ah, oh, circumstantial evidence, blah, blah, blah. He straight up is admitting it to it at this point, calling her a victim and stuff. What's up, noob? What up, Root? Documenting those predacos I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. I'm glad there isn't that much. I mean, it would be cool to see more stuff of him, but I'm glad, like, we don't have to watch through tons and tons of it because he's sickening. I did not intentionally go after a 14-year-old girl. Oh, my God. So much like Cyrax. So much like Cyrax. What the hell? That's what Tony would say. Yeah, that's that's what he says. That's, that's exactly what Tony would say. <laughs> oh, oh, the exact same shit that Tony said. Exactly the same shit. Holy fuck. That 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 was fact though. Okay. How many four in in 1994? How many 14 year old girls had 36 uh, D cup tits? What the fuck, man? And that right there, Cobra. That's Cobra. Do you remember when Cobra was talking about the, like, hormones in the food? And you gotta be careful, tubes. You gotta be pa -pow. Remember he said pa -pow, or some shit like that? Holy fuck. And, and to be, like, so dismissive and saying, like, the word, like, tit and stuff like that. It's so, like, disrespectful and, like, dismissive of the victim. Like, no, that, that, that was fact, though. Okay, how many four in in 1994? Shit. How many 14 year old girls had 36 uh, D cup tits? Oh, um. Exactly. And why does he still know the size of them, Thomas? Did you measure her tits before you you raped her? No. Oh, I mean, I, I, God, God damn, Schmeckle, got him. Go about though, like you were just riding on the bike trail and you just got a hard on. Um. And uh, like I said, I'm not gonna get into this on live video. This, I, I, because you guys will play it out there, and I know. His dad is Boomer Rax. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. It is, it is like Boomer Rax. That's exactly what he's like. It's so funny. Thank you, noob. Thank you for, like, hanging out with us. Know how you guys do your shit. I've been watching it for the last three days. I'm not going to get up, into this on video. What's up, fake stringer? Well, that's a definite. Uh, I'm sorry, you were aware of your son's penis problem that he currently has? No, actually, no. I, I, I wait. What did he say, Mr. Sockle? Here, I'll like clip it back a couple seconds. I'll we'll play it. it out there, and I know how you guys do your shit. I've been watching it for the last three days. I'm not going to get into this on video. I've been watching it for the last three days. I've been watching you guys for the last three days. <laughs> There's another raxism: sneaking, hiding in the shadows, and watching what other people do. Well, that's a definite. Uh, I'm sorry, you were aware of your son's penis problem that he currently has? Hell yeah, no, Lavish. Actually, no, I, 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 until you guys <laughs> commented on it on the live stream the last couple days, I know nothing of his health. Well, he's okay, currently ask, living. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Marty. Can I ask what you were thinking when you, when you? Uh, I mean, you could be like born like Gen X or like even like me, like in the '90s. It'd still be a fucking boomer <laughs> if you don't know how to get shit to work. I can't get this video to work right. And if you're like bad at video games and shit, you want to like jam some classic rock, you could be a boomer at any age. Call the police? Like it seems like kind of a questionable move. <laughs> that at the time that that phone call was made, my f friends that I were li that I was living with at the time, <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. told me. That the picture that the picture looked like me, and that I should contact the police and let them know that it wasn't God, me. Casper's. And so that's what I did. Hmm. I was back then. I didn't know anything about the law. Uh, fake stringer. This is almost two years ago. This was March twenty something, twenty twenty one. Or any, or how the law worked or anything oh, else. Never mind. It's I right there. March 23rd. It's literally right there. I could have just looked down and saw it. March 23rd, 2021. Since l then learned a lot. But that is, I mean, it is, I was, I was Hell stupid, yeah, young, truck. and dumb, and that's all there was to that. I mean, okay. you feel yeah, I know you referred to, like, your opportunity What's up, Sammy G? Thanks for, like, hanging out. cause you to do the things that you do, and I think that's just naturally how it works, you know? Um, 
Like, what was your upbringing with uh, Sally like? Calzo to Wicked? I, I wasn't. I'm going to write that down. Wait, Calzo wait, to wait, Wicked? I got to see who that is. I five years old. Uh, I lived with my dad and my stepmother since I was five years old. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, weird. I, I, lived, I visited with my mother a couple of times over the years, but I was not raised by my mother. Oh, he's visited so with her. Kind of like he's visited with her a couple of times over the years, but he wasn't raised by her. So that means they didn't have that like son maternal bond whenever he did like wind up seeing her and he like, you know, was like, oh, wow, man, I'm gonna, and he like did it with her. It's straight up what it means. Hang on. All right. I had to tap out that Calzo to Wicked or whatever it was. It sounds crazy. And off. She got away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gross, cannabis. The e he e juice he vapes is probably something really weird and gross. Or it's just like not even e juice. It's just some kind of like I don't know. Sludge. He's vaping sludge. Is what it is. Krauzo, not Krauzo. Oh, Krauzo. Where's it at? I'm sorry. Okay, Crozo, Crowzo. I'm sorry, I'm bad at pronunciation when it comes to it. And I like try to read shit fast, and I always like my eyeballs just skip over letters. Away from my dad. She knew how my dad was. Ah, uh, I see. Understandable. Yeah, I think that probably says a lot. Um, I know that he was, I think, like about uh, 25, and Sally was, I think, 14 when. Uh, you were they, were, they were they were ten years apart in age, and the reason they got married was because my dad had gotten my mother pregnant. Oh, cotton candy <laughs> delta so they, could, so they could get married because they did they did love they, at the time they did love each other. <laughs> and uh, by today's law, by today's standards, that would be wrong. But back in back when they got together, it wasn't it, it wasn't considered inappropriate. Yeah, cannabis. That's what I'm saying. Something gross like that. That's what he's vaping. For their age difference. It's like Elvis Presley. Yeah, so I mean, I, th I think... Do you know, was your dad like 25 or 26 or 24, I think? Oh, yeah. Uh, she was... <laughs> yeah, Jolly Mercedary. When they got married, she was 15 and he was 25. Oh, right yeah. Thanks. <laughs> oh, like God damn, Mr. Runs Sokka. In your family. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. I guess it could kind of be normalized, though. I guess if you look, if you look at, if you look, actually look at my the history of the age of the women I was married to, two of the three women I was married to were older than me. <laughs> Connie was the only one that was younger than me, and she was only about three years younger than me. But we were best friends from out from elementary school on up. Um, did did any did your other two wives have any kind of mental problems? Because Chance seems no. to be attracted to girls with uh, mental disabilities for some some strange reason. Um, no, uh, no, I had no. My Connie was the only one that had uh, the problems that she had, and our our relationship was all about the the fact that, like I said, we've been friends. We've been good friends from elementary. Yeah. Yeah, Frost Math. School. I used to live right across the street from her and her family, and so I grew up around her. Hmm. And to me, her problems weren't her weren't really problems to <laughs> right, me. Right, Mark. I, I, That's what I'm saying. That's how he like survived in prison. Saw past them. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I still think this Aaron uh, Aaron Morris guy just sounds like a real creep. I really want to drop his rating down. I really, uh, I just, I just really gonna. Go. I just wanted to take him down to like a two. He's really, I don't like that he fired you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Sammy. This is Rex's dad. Like especially after you bent your back for him, like. I'm this is about this is about as much of the lore as we have right now. Someone else should like someone should catfish him. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm not trying to be like mean and evil, but someone should catfish the shit out of him. Get some more footage. Rating down, man. I know you say not to, but you know, fuck him. I'm just gonna drop him down. Face of the earth, like there's no. I mean, I'm not saying that like they need to be invested. He, right, cannabis. Look at that. Look at that cross he's got tattooed on him. Investigated or put on blast or anything, but like, there's no way that anyone can confirm. I mean, they're not doing they're not doing background checks over there. I mean, who knows what you know what type of uh, you know sh 
like you know rebel rousers that he's got working over there. Um, Actually, I know I know ninety percent. Yeah, of Mr. Sako employees personal or like they didn't mean to have him. You know, like he was an accident. Only before they worked for him, and the ones I do know don't have a criminal background at all. They're most well, most of the people most for the people most of the people that work for him right now are in their uh, early twenties. I mean, well, like from I, uh, nineteen to twenty-five. <laughs> Pretty much, Pico Chiquito, or. Uh, Big Bubba is Angus's ex-boyfriend. It's <laughs> what it comes down to. I have a feeling you might. Be, have... I have a feeling you might be running a few into a few of them at the uh, unemployment office and the TEP agency, Rupal. So I mean, be don't out call there. me Rupal. <laughs> Why? Isn't that because your name? it's not my name. My name is Angus. I had my name legally changed because I'm trying to leave my past behind me. The past is in the past. I'm no longer going by. DJ Shadowblade, I changed my name to Shyrax. I am now longer Shyrax, and now I am DK Customs. Oh, I am Retro Gamer Official. Same shit. The past is in the past, Marty. I done changed my name to get, get away from it. I talked to my family about it before I did it. They I'm changing my name from Shyrax because it has a lot of negative connotations. Agreed. I did my time. I did everything I was supposed to do. I mean, you can change to your name, but... Me. Yeah, that is true, Mark. Hacking is Chance's big bummer. I mean, it's, you can change your name, but the fact that you're a pedophilia rapist isn't going to go away. I mean, it's still there. Uh, you're looking at kids, like young kids who are dressed up as women. I mean, it's kind of... Uh, I mean, it's still there, man. It's definitely there. You can read all the books you want. You can, you can try and brainwash it. Tell the parole board what they want to hear, but I mean, come on, man. Let's be real with you. Well, I, well, I have the worst, worst trouble with Pico Chiquito. Chiquito. My, my tongue doesn't want to do it right. Each other. There was a 14 year old in front of you right now. You'd get off the stream and you'd fuck her. No, I wouldn't. Or you make her suck your dick or whatever your, whatever your kink no, is. No, I wouldn't. You, you would do it. No, I wouldn't. I believe I you would. would. Not do right, Mr. Sacco? Somewhere, anywhere. Here is like another like Wilkins waiting. It's the it's the sleeper cell Wilkins. One day something's gonna trigger them and they're gonna start raxing out. Do anything like that? You definitely. I have a, I have I have a girlfriend. I don't need to go. For I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. For young girls, I don't go for young girls. I believe that you pretend that there's a you probably right? pretend that they are. It could even be you, whoever. You, um, you know, make them dress up in the uh, schoolgirl outfits. Uh, whatever, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. All right, Rupal, go fuck yourself, you rapist. <laughs> you pedophile rapist. Oh, and then he's gone, <laughs> faggot. And then he's I'm gone. Beautiful. Damn, and then he's out. <laughs> Just like, like Cyrax. Shit. <laughs> Anyways, maybe one day we'll get some more footage of him. Maybe one day someone will, uh, you know, catfish him and we'll get a lot of, a lot of new Angus lore. Damn. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for watching this one. This one... <laughs> Shit. I, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot that, like, correlates between what he does and what Cyrax does. But thanks, thanks everybody. Uh, everyone who, like, hung out and watched this. Orca, Caspergers, Frostmeth, Evan, Lavatar, Anthony, Mr. Sako, Lewis, Timo, Cookie, Sammy, Lavish. Tokyo, Ike, Thomas, Evangeline, Mark, Bronx Beats, Evan, oh, I think I already said Evan, Chiquito, Chiquito, Cannabis NJ, Sammy, Cricket, 7 Gram Gram, Chun Truck, Noob, Fate Stringer, Tactical Cope, Icy Bird, J 
JDA, Valhalla, Obadiah, Gilmore, Caustic, Cool Taste Redo, Bosco, Vivian, GG Allen, Zood Master, Bike Path to Enlightenment. It was all about you today, weren't it? Dr. Strange Love, Ryan, WW or WEF, Dinosaur, um, Elmer Chud, Mew Mew, Dylan, Low Battery Smoke Detector, Pete, Pill, I almost said Pete, sorry, Broadside, Faded, Burger Boy, be free, Shaggy, Silver Bandits, Marty's son. Thank you, everybody, and uh, big thanks to Christian for subscribing to the channel, Caustic for the super chat, Broadside for the super chat, Hill Bosley for the super chat, Vivian G, and Noob for the three. Super chats afterwards. Thank you, everybody. And if I missed you in the thanks and you were watching, I'm sorry, I just didn't just didn't see it as I was scrolling through. But yeah, thank you everybody. Thanks for like hanging out and watching this. Corey. Hello. Buddy. I guess I might have like missed y'all, so thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you later.